So the Cranbrook is interesting because of that gap that I was talking about, that 20-mile gap between Detroit and, and Bloomfield Hills. And Detroit is actually a, you know, an emerging uh, contemporary art scene and market. It's very scrappy, yes. <laughs> um, in part because of the low cost of overhead there. Right. So it's become very attractive, and so the scene is starting to develop, but that's 20 miles away. So a lot of the programming that we're looking at now is really outreach programming to the communities in Detroit. And so, you know, we finished a, a big project with Nick Cave, who's a Cranbrook alum, we did a series of, we did an exhibition at the museum, but we also did a series of performances all around the city. A uh, city's vast, it's 100, almost 140 square miles. So there's many different communities. So anything that's more mobile, I think is a better idea. And this is another big paradigm shift in the museum world is that it's not just about your physical location, but it's, it's you have to take the art to people. 